Hey there, everybody. I've been at this for more than four years and just recently crossed 2,000 subscribers. My uploads have been random lately because I've been working on a lot of projects away from my keyboard. I got started making videos initially for fun, but that eventually turned into making video tutorials because I wasn't satisfied with what was available for Elite Dangerous. I thought I would try my hand and see if I could make something good. It turns out that people like what I have to say, despite my dry delivery. What's been really interesting is that my success has got a bunch of family members getting into the YouTube thing as well. I figure it's time to take this more seriously, since the channel is on an upward trajectory. I have struggled to find stable work over the past year, so I'm going to take a shot at expanding this channel to try and fill the gap. I make about $25 a month through YouTube ads right now, but I'm going to open up channel memberships and see what happens. The basic membership I call the tip jar at a dollar a month. I figure it's a good place to start. I plan to keep making content either way, but if what I make is helpful beyond what I get in ad revenue, there's now a way to contribute. The tip jar doesn't get much in the way of perks, just a badge for the comment section, and the occasional pull for ideas. Put a dollar in the tip jar each month, and you get more recognition in the comments, with more weight in private polling. If the tip jar fills up, I'll add another tier and see where things go. But money seems to be tight right now everywhere, so I figure my subscription ought to be small enough that you might just forget it's there on your monthly account statement. I don't want anyone to feel like they're getting screwed over, since my content schedule tends to drift around several titles and the odd experiment. Going forward, I plan to keep things focused on Elite Dangerous, since there is a lot more material to cover and new stuff on the horizon. The game isn't dead, and may be trending towards greater activity in the coming months. In addition to Elite Dangerous, I have plans to cover Nuclear Option, a smaller game that has shown significant promise in the flight simulator genre. Star Citizen is going to gain a more significant role on this channel over the next year, including extensive tutorial support, but that is contingent on the game pushing through a significant growth phase. Multiple systems are slated to receive major visual overhauls, and new mechanics are expected to be integrated in the next 12 months. I intend to wait for these changes to be implemented before dedicating significant effort to the game. Kerbal Space Program 2 has great potential, and I intend to give it more attention once the game can surpass the level of its predecessor. I believe that KSP 2 is on track to do this within a couple years, and that fans of the first game should only purchase it to support the project. Casual players should wait a little longer before buying in, since several important features have not yet been implemented. I have a lot of projects external to this channel that demand my attention on a day-to-day -day basis. Some are work obligations, some are family commitments, and others are being compiled into an additional channel, which I plan to talk about more in the future. These projects mean that I may need to take occasional breaks to manage my workload, but they do not mean that I am walking away. Building this channel is a major accomplishment that I take great satisfaction in, and am thankful for the audience that is congregated around it. I hope that what I make continues to be helpful, informative, and that nobody comes away from one of my videos feeling baited or bored. Thanks for everything, and I'll see all of you soon.